Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 7th of 2021 well, it is titled 90 gravitational wave spectrograms and counting. So what do we see here? Well, this shows the detection of gravitational waves that have been made over the last five years or so since the first detection was made in 2015 and then finally confirmed and announced into early 2016. Now gravitational waves were predicted over a 100 years ago by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity. And they were predicted that any objects that were moving any object with mass would give off gravitational waves. However, it was considered that because gravity is such a weak force, that these would be near next to impossible to detect and in fact would have been impossible with the technologies at the time. However, as technology has improved, we have been able to now detect these starting in 2015, nearly 100 years after Einstein's publication of general relativity. Now they're still very uh, difficult to detect. Certainly any moving object with mass would give these off. But even things like the moon, or our sun or other planets, it would be way too weak for us to be able to detect these. However, we can detect them in the cases of extremely massive objects moving very fast. And in fact, what we're seeing here are 90 collisions of very massive objects, generally black holes or neutron stars, and they collide together. And as they do, they accelerate very quickly in an orbit around each other. And as that orbit decays, they give off a burst of gravitational waves that can be detected over immense distances. In fact, the first one that was detected was over a billion light years away, way outside our local area of space. And they are so intense that they can be detected over such great distances. And there now we have gotten up to 90 of them that have been able to have been detected. And we can see some of them were stronger than others. As you can see how bright they are very bright ones introduced a lot of gravitational waves, whereas the fainter ones had less gravitational waves, but all were considered significant detections and well above the noise level of the apparatus used to detect these. Now it is still very, very small changes that we are looking for. And a new study is coming up the next year next year, uh, the great detectors uh, will be used to try to study and look for even more of these collisions as ways to be able to study the uh, numbers of black holes and neutron stars in the universe, and giving an another way, a different way to measure the expansion rate of our universe, something that with the detection of dark energy, we have seen that our universe is accelerating and this can either confirm or said shed more light on what might actually be happening with our universe. So this is scheduled to begin next year. Uh, and then a chance to again see a little more of this and get more detections of these very massive colliding objects. So that was our picture of the day for December 7th of 2021. It was titled 90 gravitational wave spectrograms and counting. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.